And it ends really bad. All right, let's just say I don't want to spoil it, but Red Hot Chili Peppers comes out. And the guy who was running the festival decided to do a candlelight vigil at the end. I'm like, are you kidding me? You're going to have fire to these people? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag train wreck Woodstock 99. And I mean, I'm not talking about the Amy Schumer movie. Okay. That was a different train wreck. I'm talking about the new docuseries on Netflix called Woodstock 1999. Um, you guys have not seen it yet, right? Not yet, sir. Not yet. Uh, when we're doing a podcast, a verbal no is better. <laughs> no, sir, not yet. Your head. <laughs> so people at home will know that you answered my question. <laughs> All right, D. Allen Jackson, you have not seen it. Uh, no, I have not. Yeah, you replied in an audio form. <laughs> uh, Marcus has seen it. I have seen it. A few Ooh, days ago. We Yes. So it's a new doggy series. Um, so Woodstock 1969. Remember that one? That was the first one. Promised peace and music. But it's 1999 revival delivered days of rage, riots, and real harm. Why did it go so horribly wrong? And Marcus, what are your thoughts? You want to start? I got things that i yeah, like to I mean, talk about this but they definitely weren't prepared for the crowd like i don't think they they didn't uh they weren't ready for that many people yeah you know the porta johns were overfilling <laughs> yeah. the, there wasn't enough food there wasn't uh no shelter like the sun it was like 100 degrees it was at an airport yeah runway it's concrete so if it's right. 90 degrees it's 100 degrees yeah it was they like were, didn't they say it was like a an old uh it's an old uh, air, air, air force, force base yeah yeah like it had like the reason why they okay so the first Woodstock was in a place in New York called Woodstock it was a yeah, town yeah. called Woodstock yep and it was another, it was a farm <clears throat> yeah big farm mm -hmm. lots of open space grass and trees and nature mm -hmm. well they tried to do Woodstock again in 1994 in the same spot but it rained a lot and people were sneaking in under the fence yep so they Getting made free. no money. Yep. They lost money in 1994, and it rained a lot, and it turned into, like, the mud bowl. And people were just sliding in mud, and they called themselves mud people. So it was not great. They didn't make any money. So then they thought, well, what we'll do is, you know, we'll do it in 1999 because that's a good anniversary, 69 to 99. All you got to do is flip that flip six it. upside down, and you got 99. Um, and this time we'll do it at a uh, an old – uh, Air Force base that has a wall, like a real concrete wall that no one can get past. That way we won't lose money. But what they didn't think about was, yeah, it's all concrete in there, tarmac, and it was like hundreds of degrees. Yeah, no they, shade. they didn't let them bring water in there. No. And so you couldn't bring your own food or water, and they charged them. And do you remember, I think it was around this time, when bottles of water started going up in price remember the idea the first time you saw bottled water like that's dumb water's free who would ever pay for water this was around that time when it started happening and they were charging them four dollars a bottle in 99 that's like 12 dollars an hour or yeah. something right yeah mm -hmm. and so that pissed them off right now the lineup, it's no longer peace and love from the 60s. The lineup was corn, Limp Biscuit, yep. Rage Against the Machine, Kid Rock, and Red Hot Chili Peppers. What yep. could go wrong? That, that's where it led to. And, it, you know, there was trash everywhere. So after day one, the people who were, <laughs> they, 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 like, they uh, contracted out the uh, garbage service to a company to come in and clean it. But for whatever reason, they just said, we're not doing it, or they didn't show up, or maybe they came in and said, hey, free concert, let's party. No one cleaned up. So there was trash and debris everywhere. It was super hot. You had naked people. I love that in this docuseries. They were talking about, maybe it was because it was so hot, some people just took this opportunity to be a nudist. And they was running around naked. Um, which was fine, but that led to, you know, when girls were body surfing, a lot of dudes be a uh, little handsy. Cop, cop on a feel. As cop and feels. Lots yeah. of girls getting groped. Yeah. Lots of girls getting raped uh, in, at this thing. Um, and the security was really light. It's like 15 people, I think. 
But there were kids. They hired other 18-year-old kids. People off the street with no experience. <laughs> yeah. They put on a yellow shirt or whatever and said, just stand here. Yeah. And uh, talking about the trash, they were asking, they were going around and giving trash bags away for people to pick up their own trash. So that right. pissed them off. Yeah. And they're like, I paid 150 bucks to get in here. You pick it up. Yeah. Um, like the, the no shade, they were hiding, they were getting up underneath tractor trailers to get out of the sun. Yeah. So this was building. They were getting pissed and getting pissed. Yeah. And it came to a head. It came to a head. I mean, the, um, so not just the, the water, was, you were getting charged for water. They had free water in there, but then people were hogging that, and the pipes broke, <laughs> right? Yeah. They got mad because it was taking forever to get the free water. They broke the pipes, and it started like flooding into the port john area, and that turned into a, a muddy shit mosh pit. Yeah. And, I mean, they were price gouging these kids, and it, they just got pissed. Each day, they started getting angrier and angrier and angrier. And um, I, corn, I mean, what do you guys think of corn? Um, I don't know a whole lot about corn, but I know they like to do mosh pitting, I believe, right? Yeah. That's a mosh pitting band. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, with, Dave, with Jonathan Davis, he, I know he was pretty uh, outspoken as far as how, how it just went down and even shocked him. Yeah. And he's, he's got one of those bands that's usually out there shocking you with yeah. their, their lyrics and everything. But uh, Elliot, you're like a big uh, heavy metal guy. Corn? Well, yeah, they're really talented, but they've never been my favorite. I mean, although especially you know, Brian Hedwell kind of turned his life around recently and you know, gave yeah, his life to Christ. Yeah, that's right. And, right uh-huh. Well, okay, so Corn, definitely known for mosh pitting, mm-hmm. you know, big mm-hmm. like in your face heavy they metal they got that whatever. heavy metal nursery yeah. rhymes and yeah <laughs> and uh so they performed i think it was night one or two i don't know how many people what do you remember how many people it said was there it's a couple hundred thousand like two like two hundred fifty thousand yeah. people yeah, two hundred fifty thousand people all doing this at the same time right and they're getting pissed and it's not peace and love and they're mosh but people getting hurt getting getting uh, concussed and their heads broken <laughs> i mean it was a lot and then do you remember after corn after he just ripped the roof off the place no roof but like he did really good do you remember who was next bush <laughs> yeah <laughs> they were like they didn't even want to this go out this is a great scene of the docu series <laughs> yeah. they they do you know bush the guy <laughs> yeah you know he's more of a pretty boy who just had a raspy swallow <laughs> <laughs> And they, they, you just see corn and people going, yeah. right? And it pans over to, to, to uh, Gavin, what's his name? Gavin Rosdell from Bush or whatever. Mm-hmm. He's got his shirt off and he's a pretty boy and he's got a beard in his hand. He's like, yeah. He had to follow that. Yes. He was so nervous and he came out and everyone was like, I don't know. I feel bad for him. <laughs> How do you follow that? How do you, feel? How do you follow that? And he goes up there. And he starts playing, and he slowly wins the crowd. And it was such a cool moment because you were thinking that place, he's going to get ripped limb from limb. And they, they, he turned him. So hats off to, to Bush. Did a great job, you know. Uh, but it, it just – it's a great docuseries. It, if you're uh, my age, right, and you remember these bands in this time frame, it's a great little time capsule. It'll, it'll, it, 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 I, I highly recommend it. Half of them left before Willie come up. Willie they were, Nelson. They were sick and tired. They were leaving, and Willie comes half up. Half of them left, but that's still 100,000 yeah. people. Yeah, there was still a lot of And people. it ends really bad, all right? Let's just say, I don't want to spoil it, but Red Hot Chili Peppers comes out, and the guy who was running the festival decided to do a candlelight visual at the end. I'm like, are you kidding me? You're going to have fired these people? <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's the dumbest thing ever. Yeah, and, and the guy that did the uh, the original, uh, the original, the original one, Woodstock, he he was helping with this one. So he, and he he, he, he admits that he goes, I had no clue they were who all these acts each other. were. They were all blaming each other. Like, yeah, but it, there is one scene where he goes like, I didn't know who Rage Against, I didn't know who Corn yeah. was. I just booked the big acts. I didn't know they were handing but out there, candles. There, but there was this one kid <laughs> who was like, well, he's not a kid, but he was a kid back then. He was like twenty something. And they're all like talking, having a meeting about this wood, this new Woodstock. And he raises his hand. And is like, have you guys seen the lineup? Or do we? <laughs> yeah. Have you thought about safety? Yeah. And they're like, shut up, kid. We know yeah, what we're yeah. doing. And, yeah. uh, and it turned into a, a cluster F. <laughs> hey, it's me again. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked that. If you did, you, uh, you should check out the entire episode. It's a blast. And then. 
if you're going to do that, you might as well subscribe. And then, you know, if you're going to subscribe, you might as well hit the notification bell. All right? And, uh, and know that I love you. <laughs>